Hey there, Cam here from Training Talk. Hey, just wanted to take you quickly through our latest uh, release, a couple of things, some design and layout changes on the uh, calendar view, and also a way to quickly and easily select and delete multiple workouts all at the same time. So let's jump in here. So I've got a template plan <clears throat> here, and I've got some training for me. Not trying to think for anything super specific at the moment. Plenty of fun stuff in there, a bit of surfing, a bit of swifting, some open water swimming, plenty of running. So uh, the first thing is um, you didn't used to be able to delete an entire week in the training plan view. Now you used to be able to do that in the athlete calendar view, which we actually built a long time ago. So thanks to those of you who nudged me, reminding me that we had neglected to do that in the template view. So that's done now. So you can delete an entire uh, week from the template view and let me just copy that first before I delete it so yeah, now you delete it <clears throat> and even in the athlete view it used to when you used to delete a week um, it then used to reload the entire page again so that was a bit of a pain so now it doesn't reload the page it just goes off and deletes all of those workouts and I'll just paste them back in again um, the other thing is now you can select multiple workouts and then delete them all at once so um, you used to be able to do delete a day, delete a single workout, delete a week if you're an athlete view, but that takes a little bit of time, especially the delete. So if you do delete individual ones, it asks you, do you want to delete it? And you say, yes, do one of those at a time. It takes a long time. So some coaches suggested, and thanks for that, that you might want to delete an entire Tuesday or something like that. So one at a time will take a long uh, time. So now you can select an entire week and now you can see that those have gone uh, gray you can select entire days and you can select individual workouts select select oh, whoops copy select let me just copy that week in and then um up here it shows uh, now it says delete 17 selected uh, workouts so it tells you how many workouts you're going to delete or you can just deselect them all as well and uh, start again for the individual ones you can deselect them one at a time like that so let's uh try that out delete selected workouts to confirm yes i do want to delete them all and then it's going to go off and delete them all uh, one at a time <clears throat> and there you go so much faster so for example if you wanted to delete everything on a tuesday you can go select day select day select day and then delete but i want to deselect those and uh, yep so that's select and delete hopefully save a bit of time let me just tidy this up again before and i'll apply it to my calendar and then i'll show you the next changes which are around the design um, of the calendar just paste it in sorry just tidying this up because i want to apply this to my calendar now Paste it there, so apply it to me. It's me there, starting on the 18th, so apply that. So a few different changes. The training calendar, it used to be the, across a week. So there's seven columns, eight if you include the, the, the header column in a, in a week. And they used to be different heights if there was different workouts in there so now the across an entire week the columns are all of the same height so it just looks a little bit cleaner there's no not as many gray lines and white lines and like that as well we've also gotten rid of some white space around the edges of the calendar which just makes it a little bit tighter we made this left hand header column narrower <clears throat> excuse me and we've given ourselves a lot more real estate now so we do have plans to have another column on the right hand side and it may replace this column here actually so thanks for those who have suggested it to have a weekly summary column where you can see the volume you know plan distance and time types number of workouts etc for a week so that'll be coming soon the other thing is the workouts now have rounded corners instead of square corners um, and also uh, the background of the calendar for workouts in the past it's white and in the uh, future it's gray so uh, that's the main part of it the other thing is the mobile view so not the mobile app but the uh, web browser while you're looking at the uh, website on your 
uh, phone. So we can see, I can't show you on the phone itself, but I can simulate what it looks like. So it used to be, uh, here we go, got the simulator going. So it used to be a view where you would only just see one day with a couple of workouts on it. And then you had to scroll quite far if you wanted to see, to get an idea of what your week of training was like. So now we've compacted a little bit so you can see across an entire a week so you can scroll so and of course if you're on your phone your finger will work like that I've got a touch screen so I can actually do that uh, at the moment so then you can get an idea of the entire week if you want to look at it on your uh, mobile phone which a lot of people tend to do without going into the app where you don't have that full calendar experience so now you've got the full calendar experience um, in uh, a browser so that's it so design changes around the calendar view. We've got some more changes coming around that uh, as well. And uh, select and multiple deletes, which should uh, make managing training plans and athlete calendars uh, a lot faster. So lots more stuff coming soon as well. So thanks to everyone who's submitted their ideas on our uh, roadmap. I'll link it in here somewhere, depending where you're watching this um, video. So you can go and submit your own ideas to us and also vote on ideas submitted by others. So obviously the ideas we that get the most votes will be the ones that we will think more seriously about implementing. So you'll also see the stuff that we've already released and the stuff we're working on and we've got planned in the near future. So thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you again soon.